Hey y'all, good morning, and welcome to More On That In A Moment. Stop on by 15 minutes or That'll less. be a good show today. More On That In A Moment. Here we go. Good morning, July 11th, 2020. Sun is risen. Jesus Christ is the Son of God, and He has risen as well. Thanks for joining More On That In A Moment podcast. I'm having some technical issues, difficulties. Couldn't go live. Not a big deal, right? Thanks for joining me, guys. Having said that, let's go ahead and look at that sunrise again. Amen. God bless. Praise God for his creation. We had some storms here locally in Newark yesterday. Got those on the GoPro. God is great. You know that, right? Today, we're going to read from Proverbs 105. Before we do that, we are going to get into a video shown to me by Jason and Jordan during my time with the CCMO. It gave me chills then. And then we're going to go ahead and watch that and go through that now. Thank you for joining us today. More on that in a moment podcast. It's the family's podcast. We're not perfect, but we appreciate the time that you spend with us. Here we go. Lion of Judah suggests you guys all check it out. Here we go. Today we're going to learn one lesson. You may not need this lesson at this moment in your life, but there will come a time where you need to hear this lesson. 1 Samuel 30 verse 4. So David and the troops with him lifted up their voices and wept until they had no strength left to weep. The scenario is that David and his troops are returning back to Ziglag from a fight, only to find out that their families have been taken and there is a bigger battle to come. And this situation is so relatable to each and every one of you in the room today. Life is a fight. And every single one of you is in the middle of a fight, fighting to get the bills paid, fighting to finish school, fighting to keep your marriage away from divorce, fighting to go to work, fighting to get a promotion, Fighting traffic, fighting to raise those kids, fighting to even come home at times, fighting for your health. And what you and I both know about life is that life does not fight fair. When you're in the middle of fighting for your health, boom, your car breaks down and there's another bill. Life is a fight. This is where David is in his life. He's in the middle of battle after battle after battle. And at this point, David's men had turned against him and were ready to stone him. He was at the brink of giving up. And many of you today are at the point where you're about to give up. Standing on the edge of failure, where hell has thrown the kitchen sink at you. And life has drained you of your resources. And where people that promised you they will always be there have left. At the point where David was, many of you are today. At this point, what did David do? David encouraged himself. His wife wasn't there, his children wasn't there, his commanders and his generals had left him. But David encouraged himself. At a point in your life, you will have to encourage yourself. Your mama won't be able to do it. Your daddy won't be able to do it. Your pastor won't be able to do it. You will have to stand as an individual and talk to yourself. You guys get the the gist of that. It's it's moving. It's an entire series there on Facebook. Uh, I'm sorry, on YouTube. I suggest you check it out. Uh, Here we go. Um, Like I said, Proverbs 105 from this book. 100 things God loves about you. Simple reminders for when you need them the most. It's very cool. Uh given to me read it to my kids i'll be reading this one to them as well today so here we go number 82 god loves the way you remember psalm 105 uh, 105 give praise to the lord remember the wonders he has done for you You know God is at work in your life. You know it as surely as you breathe, as surely as the sun rises. 
Yes, you've seen it with your own eyes, and yes, you remember all the wonderful, marvelous, miraculous, incredible, outrageous, and unexplainable things that he has done for you. And because you remember, you count on him, you thank him, you serve him, and you praise him every day. Oh yeah, God loves the way you remember. I want to thank everybody for joining us today on More On That In A Moment podcast. This is unscripted. This is not perfect, but powered by God. Hashtag powered by God. Proverbs 105. Praise him. All the miraculous, marvelous, insane things. God has done for you. I appreciate you being here. My family appreciates you here. This is a social media documentation experiment. It's the family's podcast. We'd love for you to hashtag connect with us. Having said that, I love you. I, God, I love you. God loves you. Let's look at this sunrise one more time. If my neighbors are watching, be sure to give me a wave. <laughs> I'm not trying to infringe on your on your privacy rights. You have uh, what are they called? Your, your blinds are drawn. No, really, thank you so much, guys, for joining us. And as we go out, remember, do good, be good. I love y'all. More on that in a moment podcast. Stop on by 15 minutes or less. More on that in a moment.